Yep. There you go. See, this fish, like, if she wanted to bite me, she'd she not going to. She's not like that. Not a, not a gator. Not a, uh, not a shark. So if you want to see a couple things, a little one, I'll show you real quick. So we got one nostril, two, three, four. So these are actually called nares, but they're chemoreceptors. A lot of how they're finding fish in the river is with these. This is pretty cool. These are slats, that's what I call them. But these get way wider, like that big, whenever they're eating a bait. Mm. That makes sense. So I'm gonna let you try something pretty cool. So reach up underneath here. Uh -huh. Really cool, oh. right? That's the only soft thing on a gator guard. She's also got no aisle, no way to cover. Like her eyes just there. I'm gonna show y'all one more thing. She don't like it. We'll be good. So you see right in here? Yeah. These are all the Ampelia Lorenzini like cell receptors. They're not quite Ampelia Lorenzini, but, okay. but they're really close. Like what they actually do is she's tasting me right now. And I do believe they do some amount of electrical sensations basically. But yeah, Gator well, Gar, cool. most of the cool stuff is going on right oh here God. at the front. So another cool thing about Gator Gar is um, she's using buccal pumping. Did you see how air's coming out right there? Yeah. yeah. She's not swimming forward, but she's pumping water across her gills and she's breathing. Also, she took air like from above the water. Pretty cool. Oh, yeah. 